Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. It's Tuesday, so in this Lightroom Tuesday we're going to talk about a new plugin called Opal. Hey folks, Opal is a new plugin for Lightroom that lets you fade or intensify your presets and the settings that you've made since. Uh, but I'm just going to show it to you basically on some presets, so let's dive in and have a look. So Opal, uh, when you get it, it comes in a folder, I'm just going to show you the folder and you basically get an installer and you run the installer and i'm going to show you what it looks like so you get this installation for it okay i'll cancel out that i'm going to just very mention very quickly that if you if you're doing this on mac for the first time you need to right click and you need to go open and do it that way uh, because if you don't it, it's an unsigned app so it won't allow you to do it you can turn off that option as well but just you may need to do that okay and then in Windows, uh, it's a plugin that you need to put in yourself, but it can be installed on Mac. So once it's installed, it's installed into a, a custom location that will automatically open. So go to Plugin Manager here, and then you would click Add here, and it would be ready with the right folder to select here. And then you would enter your activation key or your license key here, which I am obviously blurring in this because I don't want you copying my one for obvious reasons. Okay, so now how does it work? Well, it's not straightforward to see how it works, but it's actually pretty easy. You just press the up arrow key. Boom, there it goes. All right, so I've nothing applied, so it's not going to do anything. So I'm just going to click cancel or escape to get out of there. And I'm going to apply one of my own presets here, like Alex, for example, here. So this has a bit of grain added and it's got a little bit going on in the tone curve. It doesn't have any split tone, so I'm just going to close that one down. So if I just come in here with this, we'll see some of the bits that are going on with it. So I hit the up arrow key. And I accidentally hit off the button as I was doing it, so it should normally say 10. If I can pull it down so we can see it's moving the tone curve and the grain. And if I move it up the whole way, we can see that it's adding more incrementally based on where it is. So it is quite intelligently changing all of the settings proportionally, which is very, very cool. There's other ways of doing this with it. Once it's uh, actually on, you can uh, well, I'll click cancel and go back into it again. Up arrow key. And then if I keep up arrowing, it'll go down in 0.1 of an increment. And then if I hit shift, it'll go in full amounts. Okay. And um, you can also just type in a number. So five, for example, and it'll work straight away for that. So now let me just cancel out there already. And I'm going to undo to get rid of multiple settings and undo again to get rid of the preset. There we go and apply a different preset. Let's try this one here, for example, just so we can see it on a different preset. Same story, up arrow, and say I want to go for, let's, let's go for five. Oh, no, five, there we go. So that way I've got about half, so that's cool. Or go 15 and make it even more intense. So very, very, very handy for that. Um, again, escape will, get rid of it or return will apply it now what it doesn't do and i'm going to undo here so that's command z to go back get rid of my preset i'm going to just sort you with um with a black and white now black and white switches from a hsl into b and w right so a limitation of the actual sdk is that it's not going to make it a black and white in the color but it will still change what's going on with it so if we watch my grain and we watch my uh my tone curve as I'm doing it, we can see that the tone curve is changing and that our grain is changing as well. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the slider now. So we can see the tone curve is significantly changing as we do it. So even though it's not changing the actual color itself, it is changing the settings within the preset. So just jump into another image and if I do the up arrow key again, I'm just going to show you something else about. So if I move this to the other side, and I click cancel and if I bring up up arrow key again it will remember exactly where it's been. Now with some of the newer presets that I've made here like cathode for mm -hmm. example they're a little bit more intense. I can't actually apply that until I get rid of the settings so we can see here it's kind of intense. So I can actually reduce it using opal if I want or if I want it I can make it even stronger. So that's really really handy. So let's say I cancel from here and I want to do something additional to that. Let's say that I come in here and I decide that I want to say, say I want to grab the blue. I want to make the a bit bluer in those tones and a bit yellower in the highlights just to change that color. 
So we've added some settings on top of the actual preset. So I go and press up to bring Opal up again. You can see that is changing both what was there in the preset and the new settings that we applied as well. So it's not just on the presets itself. So folks, I really, really like that. And because I like it, I've decided that I would get an affiliate link for it. So the link is below. And not only that, but I went and got a discount code so that you can get $5 off using the code SeanMac5, S-E-A-N-M-C-5. So that's a bit of a bonus for you. So not only does it not cost you extra to use the link, you can get five quid off. Always good. So folks, we do Lightroom stuff every Tuesday, so it's worth subscribing for that. Uh, last week, we would have done some of the new features in Lightroom 7.2. So yeah, definitely, definitely worth looking. So please do subscribe. Fridays we do photo stuff. So I have a few things in the pipeline like ND filters and things like that. So I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna to get to the ND filters this Friday. Depends on the weather and I have got a very busy week ahead of myself with shoots and things like that. So folks, thanks for taking time to watch this video and I will see you in the next one.